Hey DSMS, it's Heidi here with the March 22nd, 2021 DSMS TV News. Now on to a video with Mr. Hummer. Good morning, Sidewinders. This is Mr. H here in the new studio. And I will welcome everyone back from what I hope was a fun and eventful spring break uh, with this great weather in Arizona. You'll see that I'm here in the new studio and I have my mask on and I've got my uh, Clorox wipes in front of me here. I wanna remind all of our students and teachers that all of the precautions that we have for COVID are still in place. Even if you might hear some new news on the TV from uh, the CDC, we're gonna keep our precautions in place until you hear word from me or our superintendent, Dr. Lee. So we're gonna continue wearing masks, all the precautions that we take in the classroom and at lunch are still in place. I'm here to kick off our fourth quarter with a few words of encouragement and a challenge for you. I know very well that it feels like a really, really long school year. In other ways, it might feel like we've only just started in February. The truth is, here on March 22nd, we are starting the final quarter of our school year and it's an important one. Our seventh grade students will be turning the corner into the eighth grade, and our eighth grade students are here at the footsteps of high school. This is great. Are you ready for the next level? This is the question I wanna ask, and it's a good one to think about. Our goal as teachers at DSMS is to prepare each of you well for high school and beyond. High school readiness is what your families expect when enrolling at DSMS, and this should be your goal as students too. How can you be confident that you have the skills to find success in school next year, especially given how different school has been this year? Here are my suggestions so that you can walk out of DSMS in nine weeks with pride and confidence in your future. First, make it a goal to have your fourth quarter academic scores be your best. What does your personal best look like when you try your hardest in each of your classes? Let's find out. Your next year's teachers will be looking at your fourth quarter academic marks in August. Even if you've fallen down with your grades earlier in the year, we've all had some ups and downs, your fourth quarter results can tell a story. Second goal to think about and relate it, make it a goal to have a solid rapport with your teachers. You may need a letter of recommendation from one of your current teachers for an opportunity next year. Will your teachers be able to write that you did your best, that you were helpful and kind? Make those changes so that they can write a good recommendation. Third thing to think about, next month we will begin state testing, the AZM2 or AZ Merit. And this will be the first time we've taken this test in two years. Your teachers will begin discussing preparation for this very soon. The results will be looked at to see how you've grown over the years, especially these last two years. The results will go to your families and to your next school in the summer. So do your best. Finally, and fourth thing I want you to think about is your relationships with your classmates. It's not all about academics in school. Your success and happiness in school and beyond will hinge on healthy relationships with others. If you have any negative or unhealthy relationships with classmates or teachers, find a way to straighten these out. We have counselors and teachers. We're here to help you if you need that. I've shared with you a few ideas. Perhaps your loved ones have other ideas. Think about setting goals this week and writing them down so that you can track your progress. Thank you for listening to this important message and be kind, be brave, Sidewinders. Again, it's Luna with the women's history segment. Ruth Bader Ginsburg was a judge on the Supreme Court and was a major women's rights supporter. She helped the women's rights movement grow and come as far as it has today. Hi DSMS, it's Luna with the birthdays. Today's and last weekend's birthdays belong to Ayla Jaramillo, Kyle North, Harvin Sadari, Savannah Hauser, Kira Sweeting, Brooke Guthrie, and Mason Helsig. Sorry if I pronounced any of her names wrong. Now to all bring the lunch. It's time for lunch! What time is it? It's time for lunch! 
Hi, it's Aubrey with the lunch. Today's lunch is a mini waffles with chicken strips, rib BBQ sandwich, and a fruit and cheese pack. Now to trade with the weather. Hey, dude. 0% chance of precipitation, 11% humidity, and 12 mile per hour winds. Now back to the anchor. Hey DSMS, I'm back. Thank you to all of the teachers and students who participated in this year's Spirit Week. We hope that you had fun coming up with outfits to wear each day. Shout out to the English department for tallying up the students each day and to this year's DSMS student council members for coming up with the Spirit Days. Lamia Pamick, Shay Bartlow, Ashley Bossong, Dylan Bossong, Isla Jamakovic, and Scott Rusamano. First place for 7th graders is Mrs. Munson's period 3-4 class with 87%. Uh, with 87%. Second place for 7th graders is Mrs. Irwin's 3-4 class with 67%. First place for 8th graders is Mrs. Mumson's period 1-2 class with 84%. Second place for 8th graders is Ms. Sokol's period 7-8 class with 62%. These students will be enjoying donuts today during their English classes. Congratulations. That's all for today. DSMS. Have a wonderful day.